What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Last time we went on our first long level 3 mission and uh, it ended it ended okay. Um we did lose one of our fav friends, one of our originals too. Dismas. He was killed by an outlaw fusilier uh, with a, a pepper spray buckshot musket rifle shooting everybody and I I just I couldn't heal him in time. And so he passed, which is unfortunate because, you know, we liked him. He was cool. But today is a new day. Wait, what is that? Eh. Um, and we decided we're going to go to the cove to do a medium mission. And it's explored 90% of rooms. And we're doing this more just for the cove itself. We want to unlock the next boss. Um, that was just a troll. I remember that. It's like, wow. Wow, you guys are mean. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and go into this medium dungeon. And of course, always two stacks of food for a medium. I'm going to do torches next just because I want to. Um, and let's do three shovels, a couple extra anti-venoms, a couple of these, a couple of these, some keys. And I think that's going to do it. This is an easy level 3 by the way. Or medium. It's an apprentice level. So this should be fine. I feel, I'm feel i feeling confident. Um, not overly confident because I don't want to I don't want to jinx myself but I'm confident. Thralls will explode if left for too long. I don't think we've seen the a thrall. Of rotting fish is almost unbearable. What's a thrall? I mean, I know what it is in Destiny, but what's a thrall? <laughs> so, anyways, well, that's annoying. What was that minus dodge and speed? Oh, that's disgusting. Um, I am gonna try to begin prepping for a darkness run. What is this? A pool of water cupped in smooth stone. It kind of looks slightly off. What do I use? I didn't bring any holy water. Anti-venom, maybe? Anti-venom! That's cool. Oh, okay. So it took off a little bit of stress. That's nice. Okay. Keep the torch up, because... Wow, okay. That's fortuitous. This is not. Ow. That was nice. Could you, like, not? Wait, why does he have so much plus damage? Um, why not? Let's take a pop shot at this guy. Uh, go ahead and try to Blight. Blight is our friend here. You, I think their Blight chance is, like, super low. Yeah, they have zero Blight resist, so Blight all day, every day. They will always get Blighted. Um, let's go ahead and smash him. Because now, no matter what he does, he's Dunyan Rings. And there's no corpse, which is incredibly good. So, now they are doing a substantial amount of damage, but I'm hoping our Musketeer will be able to take care of that. Get some more damage off on you, more Blight. I don't know how much Blight. Wait, is that seriously 12 damage? Oh, he's done. Oh, that's amazing. Ooh, and a crit. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I don't even know how much blight I'm doing. Seven. Dang, man. And he's dead. He, I literally don't even need to use a turn on that. Holy cow. What is this damage? Let's mark you. Smack you around, try to get the stun. Yeah! I like it. He's dead, so go ahead. Uh, go ahead and keep healing. Let's just keep the healing going. I mean, all the damage is almost gone now. Holy cow, that was a 32 crit! I didn't know I could do that! Plus 90% damage versus marked. Oh my jeez. Okay. I did not realize how much damage that actually...
actually does. Holy cow, okay. Note to self, don't mess with the bounty hunter, guys. May we find victory. Oh, hello. Okay, I see something in the back, and that is a stress fish. Okay. That definitely needs to go first, if possible. That does a lot of blight, I think. Seven, yeah. Um, and that's an eight, and I'm pretty sure he's done. Let's go ahead and mark you. Actually, let's mark you, because I think, does this... Yeah, that actually lowers your prod, your protection. So we'll go ahead and mark you and try to get you knocked down. That's a lot of blight we're stacking very quickly. Four and three, that's seven damage any turn. Like, that's a lot of damage off in one go. Go ahead. I'm going to be killing you anyways. Wait. Aw, oh, that buffed his prod. That's annoying. Um... Okay, I'll just blight you. <laughs> Go ahead, try to survive. Um, I'm not even gonna waste my time. I'm gonna heal. <laughs> I don't need you to shoot. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, it don't matter. I'm I'm okay with blighting you. That's fine. I want to see how much damage I can do with this. Check this. Check this. Let's see it. Bam! 17, and that's even with him having 45% protection. And the Blight knocks him over. Oh, I should have healed, actually. I could have healed there, but it's okay. I can, uh... I mean, it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, it, it honestly doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> Ooh, scouting. I like scouting. Um, let's go ahead and I think this is a clamshell. Let's go ahead and use a shovel. That was not worth it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of garbage. Okay, no, I know this might not look bad, but those little snail guys are a pain. I'll show you why. His protection is 75. And he actually, he actually has some blight resist. Not a lot, not enough to save him, but enough to be there. His protection is what makes him incredibly dull. It's kind of annoying. Um, and let's just do this. Why not? Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Shuffle things around a little, because it's fun. Um, how much? Okay, you're dead in one turn anyways, so. Let's just, ooh, a miss. Okay, okay, this is okay. This is the one that's annoying. Okay, good. I'm pretty sure they're the ones that can cause like disease, which isn't really bad. So, we'll just have to see. Stress weave. I feel like every time he does that, he's like, fear me. And you're just like, oh God. Ton of blight. I'm guaranteeing at least two kills this turn. Just from blight. Uh, we'll go ahead and just end you. Give them no quarter. I should have just left him, because he was dead no matter what he did. But that's okay. The blight's got him next turn, so. We'll let him just wither away. We're gonna go ahead and heal. Get a little bit of stress going. Stress relief. Uh, we'll mark you, because why not? Just because I'm kind of wasting moves at this point. Can I get the heal? Nope. Darn. I wanted to heal. <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel like we're doing really well. Like, this has been really clean so far. And this is a free room. Um, so we're gonna go down the three. Gosh! These traps are kind of redonkulous. And the fact that it takes away so much dodge and all so much speed. Okay, what is this, guys? Ooh, a fish. With a singular purpose. Um. Oh, 
god. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. So let's use this so that I can free up an inventory spot for this. Oh my lord. Um We'll take that and we can take that and we'll ditch that because it's only 250 gold. Um I'm pretty sure there's a lot more gold to be had rather than the little bit of gold we could have from that. So, ooh, we're getting a lot of scouting. Okay, so we actually could potentially skip this next fight. Let's go ahead and use this on Hiyu to cleanse you. We still have a ton of dodge and speed gun, which is actually kind of frustrating, but that's okay. How are we looking on torches? Two more. Ooh, random hunger check. That's fine. This is okay. Uh, this is a free room. Now, do I go for this fight room? If I do, then I don't have to do one of those other rooms. But if I skip it... Eh, why not? Why not? What? I'm not going to say that. That's a terrible idea. And yes, you know exactly what I was about thinking it's saying. We'll go ahead and use a bound dude. Knock it off. Okay, I want to try something. Does this this norm this says it? Oh yeah, so that buff that debuff is gone. Sick. Okay. So fight room with a curio, not a treasure. Ooh, these are good. But what is that? Is that a thrall? I feel like that would be a thrall because it looks explodey. Yeah, so that's a thrall. So we'll deal with him in due time. Um, he's got no dodge, no s resistances. He's just kind of there to soak up damage, maybe. Double crit. I mean, it's only a one, but still nice. I like it. Um, let's go ahead and take a pop shot at you, because we do extra damage against Marked. That's a stun. Good dodge, good dodge. Very nice. Okay, what do we get? Shocker, a uh, stun attempt. Okay, do we get the stun? Yes, we did. That's okay. He clears his stun. So he's going to try to protect him. That's not a bad thing. That just means we, well, we're going to start dealing some damage. Okay. I mean, we're blighting you both anyway, so that's fine. He's gone. Now, do I get... Nope, I don't get the turn to take him out before he gets his move. And if he gets the stun, that means I lose that move. Okay, cool. Um, I feel like it's a waste to shoot at him, because he's dead next turn. I'm pretty sure he's not dead, so we'll... Ooh, the crit! Our musketeer must be like a sniper, because that crit is gorgeous. Gargling grab. What is that? That looked like a stress move, because it was all like darkness. Try to get the stun? Nope. That's okay. Light. Yes. Yes. And he's done. Ooh, let's not do that. That could have been dangerous. Uh, let's go for a heal. Why not? We can heal. I'm good with that. Yoink. Ah -ah. These nightmarish creatures what are can you? Be ah, cool. Can be beaten. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, this thing is really good, so I kind of want to be careful with who I use this on. Wait, Torn Rotator? Okay, that honestly doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and use it on you. Plus speed, plus 24% healing received, plus 20% damage until camp. That's kind of annoying because that's exactly where I'm going is to camp. <sighs> okay. That's fine. It's fine. It honestly is. And we're doing pretty good, I think. You know, no surprises, no big scary things, you know. It's been pretty clean, I think. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way up to the central room, and that's where we're gonna make camp, I think. 
unless we do the next room the treasure room and go from there um which we could do honestly we could um let's actually look at our inventory if we did that we don't really have room for that though okay we're gonna go ahead and camp up in this room that'll free up a little bit of inventory for treasure Actually, thinking about it, um, we're just gonna try to open it. Two busts. We'll go ahead and do this because I think it's worth it. We need the busts, Another so. Mariner. Another misfortune. How many torches are we at now? Six. Yikes. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have torched all the way up. Maybe I should have done a darkness room. I feel like it probably would have been better anyways. Oh, hello, humans. We're gonna mark you, because I kind of want you gone. Ooh, resisted. Okay, so that's five guaranteed. Awesome. We took out our mark. We took down the mark. And that's what I really wanted. I just wanted that guy gone. Because now he's more interested in, like, buffing and healing. The stress he can do doesn't always help. So. Although, he does buff, which means he can hurt a lot. He doesn't do the damage, but he can buff his friends to do the damage for him. Um. Holy crap! Holy God! That is a ton of damage. Wait, you can do it to two people? That's interesting. Okay, seriously. Plus 20% damage versus human. I, mm, I'm learning all sorts of fun stuff. Let's go ahead and blight the crap out of you. Uh, we're just gonna heal. I'm pretty sure the guy in the back is dead. Yeah, there's no reason to fight. He's done. As soon as he makes any kind of move, he's dead, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna just heal, basically. <laughs> Look at him and go, you're next. And there it is. Like, there really was no reason to fight. This expedition at least promises success. Hmm, that blood looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. And now we're gonna camp. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming Nice. Horrors. Okay, so. Let's see. Can we prevent a nighttime ambush? No, we can't. So, let's go ahead and buff. Um. Uh, let's go ahead and do tracking and None of these are really all that great honestly uh, Maybe you get rid of stress. I just I don't feel like any of this stuff is really all that great Let's do this That's not bad We'll actually use this on him Okay, cool. So we're buffed and ready, just in case we do end up getting a, an ambush, which we don't. Let's just open it, because I don't think it's going to be anything important. Nice. I was wrong. Cool. Just a crate. A lonely little crate. More busts. This is turning out to be a lot a uh, pretty good treasure haul. Uh, let's go downwards. See if we can't get some scouting on that room down there. Ooh, did we get rid of... Yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, let's see what... Ah, oh, it's a trap. Dang it. Well, we got a free band-aid, so... Scouting. Please? Okay, we're gonna go for it, because I... I kind of want to... I actually might completely go through this done. Nope, we're not going this way. I'll take the little bit of stress. 
I am not dealing with this again. It is not happening. I refuse. <laughs> no. We're going the other way, guys. Forget that noise. I am not about to put my guys through that again. We all remember what happened last time. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about a tree. And the tree won. Sort of. Did it? Open it. it there's still booty inside. And we'll take it. Yeah, no. I see that and I'm just like, nope. <laughs> Not doing it. And I like the fact that I'm getting a lot of portraits and crests because that's upgrade materials for the rest of my buildings. I do think I have to go through both of these rooms to finish. But it looks like I only have one more fight. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must, must be carried home. home. Yeah, it'll be carried home. Torch fight. Oh, okay. So nothing terrible. Just blight the absolute crap out of these guys. Um, we'll go ahead and hit you. That's a kill. Okay, can I get... Can... No? Don't. Eh. Flute. Can I get a kill off? I don't know if I can guarantee the kill. No, I can't. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. He's dead next turn, so it doesn't matter. Um, let's go ahead and get you blighted. Because I can work on the middle two with my uh, abomination. Uh, let's just double blight you. Why not? Because that's... He's done. Nothing he can do. Um, mark him... For further punishment. Wait, he survived? Oh. Well, poop. Yeah, well, that takes care of it. He's marked, so can we get the kill? Let's get him going. This is it. 60% marked. And he gets the perfect amount of damage. Now, so too will resistance. I know what you're thinking. Should I take the shovel? And the answer might surprise you. Yes. Yes, take the shovel. <laughs> you know what? We're going to stay, and we're going to go up to this final room. What? No! I ah, poop. I was going to go to the other room. Dang it! It's okay. That's a, that's a lot of crests. 28 crests in one mission. That's a lot. Not a lot of portraits. A few Ds. A couple busts. Satanophobia? Plus 20% stress versus unholy. That's annoying. Musical? Inspiring tune. Plus 25% stress here received. Is inspiring tune the move that the jester has that gives him... Stress relief? I think it is. I'm gonna have to look. But minus 5% crit melee skit. Ooh, no, 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 no. Weak grip has to go. So I think this is gonna be a time that I'm actually gonna go and go to the sanitarium and go here. And I want weak grip gone. We're gonna do hard skinned because I want to make sure he stays with good skills. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, now there are times where you're gonna want to spend points on your characters to make sure they have the buffs and stuff they want. Um, and this is one of those times. Ooh, a moon cloak. That's kind of cool. Plus protection and dodge if torch below 26. That's gonna go really good with that dark crown. Um, let's go look at it real quick. Minus 25% stress, plus 15% virtue chance. So if we go to this and look, it's plus 10% stress. They counteract each other. I act... Mm, I just looked at how much gold I have. Can I sell anything? Okay, yes. I can sell this. Um... 
This is a common one. I don't care about that. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Okay, let's go ahead and get it now. And we'll go ahead and start working towards a, uh... I feel like another team, but like a darkness team would be really cool. Ooh, another musketeer. That's cool. Plus five accuracy range skills. That's cool, but minus max HP. You know, that's not terrible, honestly. It really isn't. What's that skill? I don't recognize that. Skeet shot. Clear stun, clear marked. Bypass stealth. That's actually kind of important. Actually, I wonder if I can get that on uh, you. Because I don't think I'll use buckshot um, nearly as much. What is this? It's uh, I can mark with it. Oh, okay, so I can use him and the Bounty Hunter in tandem. That's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I've got that. So. Plus five crit range skills. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, okay, so. We're actually coming close to having enough stuff for something. Uh, the bank, we're only about halfway there, but the... Busts were over half. Crest, we've got 48. What was the crest for? What were we going to use that for? I don't remember. What was it? Was it this? No. Yes. This. No, that's deeds. Oh, God. That's terrible. But hey, check it out. Another 10% healing skills. Oh, gosh. We need that. Honestly, we do. Training ring. Accuracy and max HP. That's kind of cool, actually. Eth. Athenium. Athenaeum. I don't know how to say that. The performance hall, which plus 20% damage for the finale. That's pretty impressive. Um, and then Outsider's Bonfire. Abomination, Hellion, or Leper. I don't run those guys very often. Um... I want the bank, honestly. We need a lot of portraits for that, though. But we're working on it. You know, we're working on it. Um, I don't think I want to spend any more gold. Uh, okay, maybe I do. Maybe I want to spend a little bit more gold. Okay. Let's see what we got. What is this? Vestal. Plus 33% stress skills while camping. Plus 25% healing skills. Not really worth it. We already have better items. Plus 20% damage versus blighted. Now that's actually an interesting item. Uh, let's see what else we got. Minus 20% stress of torch above 75. That's pretty cool. Plus 5 accuracy, but minus 2 dodge. Eh. Plus 20% max HP, but minus 1 speed. That's actually not a bad item. Plus 5 accuracy melee skills. Kind of cool. Antiquarian only. Plus 33% healing received. Why would I waste the time healing an antiquarian? Why am I taking an antiquarian to be healed a lot? <laughs> Uh, I just got some heavy boots, more move resist, more protection, but minus speed. Uh, we are not ready to go here. Plus 50% resolve XP. That's pretty cool, but not, not something I want to go for. Vestal, plus 25% healing skills. Cool, but my Vestals are already kind of, you know, taken care of. And then minus 20% stress against the Necromancer. Intriguing. Um, we actually can take this guy. Um, if we do this. Oh, okay. Where are you at? Ooh, 
So I'd have to take this off, but that would allow me to give him something else. But see, here's the thing. I'm also looking at how much money I've got, and I'm worried. And bleed, I don't want to take this guy, because bleed isn't all that useful. I mean, he's a tank, don't get me wrong, but he's not all that useful in this fight. Like, I want to take this guy for the blight, but back two, back three, all four, back front three. Like, it's just, he. I need a, another person for this fight that's going to be good in this fight. Um, hello. Do I dare take a level one? If we increase his protection, Plus 10% XP, plus damage, minus HP, plus HP. So we were getting the extra damage and the extra stress. Is it worth it to have more protection, though? You know, I think we're going to stick with that. Um, plus virtue chance and plus protection. I think the protection is going to be where it's at. Um, it's just better overall, I think, in this situation. Um, so I think this is what we're gonna roll with. I think we're actually gonna go ahead and try to take on the Necromancer. Um, cause the rest of this stuff just doesn't seem all that great. So, I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna go ahead and try to take on the Necromancer. This is incredibly risky, taking a level 1 into a level 3. Um, but we do have... What is it? Two level threes and a level four, and Godfroy is a healer, and she's gonna be healing for pretty good, so. And he's gonna self heal anyway, so I think we'll be okay. Um, but yeah. I think we're going to do that next time. So, thank you so much for watching. If you've been enjoying this, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon to let you know when the next episode comes out. Because it's going to be an interesting one, taking a level 1. So, don't miss out. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Later.